this week? A, because it's Iowa, B, because it's the second game. C, both. <laughs> um, you know, obviously, the rivalry, you know, just a little, little more um, light to the fire. And then, you know, obviously, going off of last week's loss, you know, we're even more in fears that, you know, we want to go with that first one. With that, you, as a fan of the rivalry, it doesn't really matter who's favored. Uh, but as the underdog, I guess, do you feed off of that with the, the nobody believes in us type of thing? Or do you go in just because it's Iowa with the same kind of mentality? Um, I've been the underdog for the past going on my third year now, so I'm kind of used to it. So I guess I go into the same same mentality every single game. Just uh, asked uh, Joel who uh, Ankeny's biggest rivalries were. Who were Urbandale's biggest? Urbandale, I'd say Johnson and Dallas. How did those go for you in high school? I played Johnson like five or six times, I think. Maybe seven. We played him like twice in the playoffs. Great. I can't even remember like my overall record, but those games were always good. Um, and then Dallin, we, won, we beat them for the first time in school history in my junior year. So that was something, something special. I remember. Like, they were always really close games and came down to the wire. Could you have football without rivalry games? No, nah, you couldn't. <laughs> you could. You need this stuff. I mean, another thing, the. Uh, Joel said that uh, he thinks that the rivalries are actually more bitter between fans and players. Oh yeah, definitely. I, th I think the fans are more pers take it more personal. I mean, all the players just go out there. I mean, we're just having to play Division One football, you know, and just have the amazing support that we have from our fans and, and be able to play. And, you know, both both stadiums are, are great, great venues and great places uh, for college football. The road teams won the last four. Why do you think that is? <laughs> The way God planned it. <laughs> Couldn't tell you why. Given that this is a pretty young team, what are you guys talking about in the locker room as far as the rivalry? Are, are they nervous? What, are you, what advice are you telling them as far as this rivalry goes? Is there pressure? No, there's there's no there's no more pressure than already was, I, I guess. But uh, we're just going this week, you know, just like last week, you know. We're not very favored like we are every single week, so we just got to go out there. Um, fix our mistakes and, and know that, that the process will handle itself. You get the sense that the new coaching staff is embracing this this rivalry now? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, especially with the, all the media um, hype about it and stuff. So I think I think once Saturday um, passes, they'll, they'll fully understand the rivalry. Alan, you mentioned uh, you guys aren't aren't favoring this one. Uh, kind of similar to what happened in 2014, your freshman year. You guys coming off a tough loss, weren't favored going into Kinnick, and you guys rallied and, and knocked off Iowa. Kind of was the, the season-defining win. Do you sense maybe something similar coming, and, and it'll be a different team that we'll see on Saturday than we saw last Saturday? Yeah, um, you know, both teams are obviously completely different teams now. Um, two years ago, we were able to, you know, be able to go there and be able to pull out a win. So that was, that was very exciting, you know, and a special moment that I definitely won't forget. But for us to go in there and do that again, you know, we got to keep our poise and not get too high, not to get too low and be able to fix our mistakes that we have made on Saturday. Would it mean more too to, I mean, obviously anytime you beat a rival, it's a, it's a good thing, but, to, you know, I feel like there's a lot of hype going into the season. You know, it's first game, it, it happens, it's only one game, but to, get this second game now and be able to get that first one of the season against your rival, does that maybe mean a little bit more? Oh yeah, I mean, one it's a road game, one it's Iowa, one it's Iowa so having, having both of those you know, at the same time would, would be nice. Night game, does that change things up for you at all? No, um, I mean, we played we played a lot of night games before, so um, I think it'd be even more special just because it's that clinic, you know, be able to experience the atmosphere at night. Um, obviously, I got an experience uh, two years ago, but that was a, a day game. Going against a guy like Desmond King, future NFL talent, something I have to imagine a guy that likes challenges, you have to relish going against the best. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, he, he's a he's a tremendous quarter. Obviously, you know, he won the Joe Thorpe Award, so um, I, I'm excited for the matchup, and, uh, and it's a great great spot for me to evaluate where I am as a receiver, especially going against a guy like him. What uh, can you learn about a guy like that when you go up against him on the field as opposed to just seeing him on tape? Oh, I mean. Seeing him on tape is one thing, but once you actually go against him in person and you know, get the actual matchup going, it's, it's, a, it's a completely different you know, uh, vibe, I guess. 